Hey, did you get a look at Pegasus? Who or what could have done that to him? I don't know. Maybe we should check out the towers, you think? So this is where Pegasus hangs out? Whoever that woman is, she sure is pretty. Yeah. Hey, what's this? It seems to be a diary. Maybe we'll find something in here. It's all about Pegasus. Listen to this. He's written about that lady. She's everywhere. She seems to be very important to him. Darling Cecilia, at last I finally found a way to restore you to this world. It's an elaborate plan, but not one beyond my genius. It involves the Kaiba Corporation and some ancient magic I plan to harness when I obtain more Millennium items. This could be it. This might explain why he set up the tournament and why he went after Yugi. And maybe who this girl is. It's pretty obvious he's hung up on her. Cecilia. Oh, my lovely darling, darling Cecilia. Cecilia. You know how I've loved you since the first moment we met, those many years ago. I'll never forget that day. It was at a party at my father's country estate. It was a gala event with celebrities and tycoons from all over the world. Anyone who was anyone was there. But by far, the one that impressed me most was you. Even though we were only children, I knew I was in love. We were drawn to each other, and from that moment on, we were inseparable, you and I. You inflamed my passions, inspired me to become a painter, and you were my favorite subject. I was so in love, and just when I thought things couldn't get any better, you agreed to take my hand once again, this time in marriage. That was the happiest day of my life. But it was cut short, for it seemed just as we said our vows, you were struck down by a devastating disease and taken from me and this world. It was as if a blow had struck me from the heavens. I was filled with sorrow. From that moment on, I could no longer paint. My heart grew bitter and cold. Unable to accept the idea that our life together was forever lost, I decided to scour the earth in an attempt to find any way to reach you beyond this mortal veil. My journey eventually brought me to the Great Pyramids of Egypt, that mysterious land whose ancient people believed in a life beyond the here and now, a belief I wanted to embrace. I had just begun to explore that ancient city when fate intervened. Thank you. Stranger, heed my advice. Huh? You have journeyed far, seeking to cure the ache within your soul. Oh. Take great care. The search to heal the pains of a broken heart might lead to only greater heartache. Wait, how do you know? It matters not. Go home. But I couldn't. I realized if he somehow knew of my pain, maybe he could help me heal it. I followed him against his wishes. Or so I thought. Although the passage seemed to lead to the bowels of the earth, still I followed. And my footsteps led me to a hidden crypt, apparently buried beneath centuries of civilization. What is this place? So, you chose not to heed my warning. <sighs> what are you doing? Let me go! I am a guardian of the Millennium Items. Once this sacred place has been discovered, the only way to leave is to be chosen. It must be your destiny. But how could these Millennium Items be part of my destiny? What do you mean? You will now be tested by the item itself, the Millennium Eye. The Eye itself? But how? Each Millennium Item awaits the day its fated possessor appears to claim it, and punishes those who are undeserving. Punishes? Now, if you pass its test, it will empower you to see more than you've ever seen before. And if I fail its test? If you are not the one destined to possess it, all that awaits you is nightmares beyond your imagination. <laughs> you have not descended into chaos and madness. You are the chosen one. Now your eyes will be opened to dimensions beyond the here and now. Like having a sixth sense, capable of seeing worlds and times outside our own. <gasps> Cecilia! Maximilian, it's really you! Oh, Cecilia. 
I found you. My darling, we're reunited at long last. But be warned. Seeing's not the same as touching, holding, being. Cecilia. That is beyond the power of this Millennium item. I should have once again been engulfed by despair. But seeing you for that brief moment gave me more hope than I thought possible. Even though you were gone from my world, I knew there was still a way to reach your spirit. And I wouldn't rest till I found a way to bring you back. And once again, touch the flower that is your face, and gaze into your eyes once more. 